first priority, meaning. According to vocabulary.com, when a group or a person cares about one thing over all others, that's the top priority. After the flood, finding a place to live became their first priority. Priority comes from the word prior, which means to come before something else. Which is Hebrew for interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled First Priority. And um, this was um, motivated. You know, I was watching the Elder Apostles Tahar video. Uh, I think the title was Put Not Off the Put Not Off the Lord from Day to Day. And um, you know, the elder is right. Because uh in this truth, the the first your first priority should be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. When you first came into this truth and you believed, you feared, and you cared about what the Lord was, you know, was looking at you like. Like, you know, you cared about what the Lord thought of you. Because you feared. You know, that, that comes with fear. You know? And when you receive the knowledge, you 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 uh believe. And when you believe, you got understanding. You know? So your first priority would be the most high. Despite all the things that you have to uh, you know, your responsibility, things you have to do in order to survive. You know, you have to uh have income, you know, you want you need shelter, clothes, food, water. You know, something to sustain you, which the Lord will provide if you seek the Lord first. You know, um, I want to uh, get a quick scripture precept. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for itself for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is evil. Well, it's like it. sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. Alright, so we supposed to put the uh, kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai first. And the Lord said everything else will be added unto you. You know? And and that and that takes the act of faith. It takes you to believe that because you fear. Because you uh, have understanding. You know? And if you lose that, then you out of the truth. You out of the truth, man. So... Your pri you know, your first priority. Let me get back to that. First priority. Uh, let me um. First priority meaning. According to vocabulary.com, when a group or a person cares about one thing over all others, that's the top priority. After the flood, finding a place to live became their first priority. Priority comes from the word prior, which means to come before something else. It says a priority is a concern, interest, or desire that comes before all others. So at the end of the day, you know, your first priority will be your how about Shemi Abishai. You know? And what we could do as uh, stewards, men of the Lord, you know, after eating the word, we teach. And it's nothing, uh, you know too hard for you to teach because let me say you got cell phones you know apostles always talk about this we got cell phones now and you know you can download apps and you can teach and it shows you 
you know, when a man is uh, really have love for the Lord because, you know, he's teaching, you know, like another thing too, this, this uh, thing of ours is not a, not a, a 40 yard sprint. It is a race, but it's more like a marathon. So you pace yourself, you know, and when you pace yourself, you, 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 you have that desire. You have that love for the Lord. You put the Lord first. Uh, it says, uh, when a group or a person cares about one thing over all others, you know, you care about the Lord over, over anything, man, you know, over a job, over your family, you know, over your children, you know, because you know, without the Lord, you ain't nothing, man. If, if the most high don't be for us, then we ain't shit, man. Straight up. So when you, uh, lose that faith you're not in the truth no more. This going kind of uh, resembles the, the lesson I did, you know, uh, that I did maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe or something like that. And, um, you know, where if you, um, you know, you know, just because you know the truth don't mean you ain't the truth, you know, and that's real talk. The Lord's supposed to be our first priority. You know, hey, you should feel some type of way when you couldn't get a lesson out. You know, you should be like, dang, yo, you know, I got to do some work in, you know, what the hell am I doing? You know, because sometimes, you know, you can be loaded up throughout throughout the week or throughout the day and, and, and uh, you can't get time. But then, hey, it's always time right before you go to sleep. You know, you're in the bathroom taking a dump. I'm just going to be real with you. You know, you don't have to screen yourself and show yourself all the time, you know, and you could just do a lesson in your phone. You have, you have time, man. There's no man. Well, there's no man of the Lord too busy for the Lord. You know, you going to, uh, is, is it where you could put the Lord on hold and tell the Lord to wait for you? Or, or is this, do, do the Lord have to wait on you? You know, and um, I don't really have many precepts. The elder apostle to he put, he brought out those precepts, man. But, you know, I'm just going to vibe off this uh, definition. It says, when a group or a person cares about one thing over all others, uh, that's the top priority. It says, after the flood, finding a place to live becomes their first priority. You know, if you're homeless, what's your first priority is to find somewhere to stay. You know, if you're homeless, if you're hungry... What's your first priority is to get a bite to eat. And sometimes before you go to work, yo, yo, I gotta, I gotta get that, uh, you know, I gotta get that breakfast real quick and get something put in my stomach, you know, cause you're breaking your fast in which you slept the night before. You know, and, and you can make these things your first priority, but you can't put the Lord as your first priority. And it shows you that a man has lost faith because if he does, if he does, uh, you know, do this, he do the things that are pleasing to the Lord, Showing forth his faith by teaching and, and doing what is what is required of him to do, and then all of a sudden you see him not doing it, and you see him struggling to put a video up. Then you got to talk to a brother. Then you talk to him, and he go, oh, yeah, yeah, I got, it, I got it, I yeah, I know, I just got this going on, I got that going on. Yeah, just fucking suffering, man. Hate this place, you know. I, right, I, right, cool, that's what's up. All right, but make sure you on it. Then you see the pattern again. And then you talk to him again. Yeah, yeah, man. Same shit. Then you go, okay. All right. You know, I shouldn't have to talk to you no more after this. Now you talk to him again. Third time. Hey, that's if, you know, you, uh, your brother's spirits are, uh, you know, showing mercy a little different. Sometimes, you know, brother be lenient with you. But then again, you know, enough is enough. You keep doing it. You're not in the truth, man. You ain't got time for the Lord. You're not thinking about the Lord. The Lord is not in all your thoughts. And that's bad. You know, that's bad. And I'll say this. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is the Rakakodash, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit Holy. All right, because you know, you, you I can see, you know, let me say this. You 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 know you in the spirit when you know the spirit is dealing with you, I should say. When you know, you just out, you on your daily abouts. This is just an example. You on your daily abouts. You could be in a car by yourself, going to work, whatever. With your woman, with your children, whatever. You know, and you 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 see something, 
and, and the spirit hits you to where, oh, then that's the scripture, you know? And that scripture pop up in your mind, you know? Or you get the spirit of, dang, y'all, I could do a lesson on that. That's when you know the spirit is, is dealing with you, you know? But if you sitting there all week and you ain't even have a thought to do a lesson and you forgot, so you trying to cram in, oh, yeah, I got to cram oh shit i gotta do my three shows so you cramming in lessons at the end of the week you're not in the spirit man you're not in the spirit and um i'm not saying nothing no different than what elder apostle tar he said too because he touched it all you know everything the apostles do man they give us that uh that uh you know they, they uh well-rounded man he touched on everything every every situation of a man that that thinks he's 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 uh he's crafty when it comes to doing these shows man it's going to show if you're not in the spirit. And that's why we pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to take not the Holy Spirit from us, man. Because hey, it can happen to any one of us that's not diligent. You know, we stay diligent to stay uh, uh, to stay in the spirit of the Lord. Straight up. You know, that's why, you know, when the apostle put out the video, uh, he put out the order to do three shows. And I ain't look at it. You're going to look at it and be mad for it. You're wicked, man. You're a wicked ass dude if you're thinking that. You mad because the apostle put out an order to do three shows. You a wicked dude. You got you got a little wickedness in you, man. You need to fast and pray, you know? Because, you know, when I heard it, you know, just personally, I was like, okay, that's some that's some good work. You know, that, that ain't too bad. You know, that also keep you, you know, conditioned. You know, if you was an athlete and you got a, a coach, a trainer, you know, when I was growing up, you know, I don't want to make it too personal but this is Lord willing I hope it's edifying when I was an athlete and um uh winter summer fall spring whenever I was always conditioned I was always working toward that sport either basketball or football so when basketball season was going out I was in the weight room for football when football season going out I was in that gym uh picking up games before the the, the workouts and before basketball season started so I was always constantly working out and what I was taught by the coaches, you know, the coaches that I had, was that if you stay in shape, you be in better condition. You know, even if you if you play basketball, go play football because you won't have no time out. You'll still be conditioned, working, running, you know, and as you grow, your bones get stronger and your muscles get stronger, you know, you, you will be more conditioned. Play football, be more physical in basketball. In, ba in football, you'll be a more... Uh, 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 athletic, more uh, you have more win because you play basketball. You know it always works out. So uh, comparing that to this truth, if you stay doing a show, stand in the spirit, wherever how your pace go. You know because every brother has a different measure of faith. Every brother, you know, not on fire as the same, and that's okay. But as long as you 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 uh you you doing it, you're doing work for the Lord. You know whatever the spirit of the Lord give you and you consistent that's to keep you conditioned keep you in the spirit you know it's a shame if you stop watching videos too that's another thing it shows you not in the spirit man you know because if you're not watching the apostles or elders brothers videos out the week and a brother always got to fill you in so what's the topic you know what's the topic of the topic of the week and who did that what scoffer came and what the apostles was talking about then, then you, 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 man, you out of there, man. You straight up out of there, man. You got to get your act together, man. You know? Brothers, they going to keep filling you in what's going on. You supposed to come and add something to the table, man. There, there was a, um, there was a, uh, a saying that, uh, that, that character, Karen, Kevin Gates made mention, and it stuck with me. You know? It stuck with me because it's kind of some truth to it. it. It is some truth to it. You know, he said, um, if, if you can't be used, then you're useless, you know? And that's kind of true because all of us are being used by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know? And the Lord linked brothers together and put you in the body so that what, you know, we can all be, be a, a working, a work, a working, um, a working machine, man. You know, if one part breaks, you know, it has to get fixed, you know, so that the body can actually function mm -hmm. well. And perform, you know, and do what it is that the Lord requires. So, you know, somebody shouldn't always have to tell you also too what's the topic of the week. Oh, I missed that. How many videos you gonna miss? You know, like how many? Like what the hell, man? You're not in the spirit, you know. 
uh, I don't, it's like I ain't really have scriptures, kind of it's like a commentary of just, you know, banking on the Lord to uh, provide me with those scriptures and the spirit while I do this show. And um, obviously I pulled one scripture, I quoted some scriptures I believe in, you know, it is what it is, I ain't going to make it too long, um, but uh, just uh, uh, vibing off the elders, apostles to hearts uh, video. Because, uh, you know, brothers have to be in the spirit. You know, you can tell a brother not in the spirit. And if he ain't doing your shows a week as the apostles appointed, you know, then that shows you're not in the spirit. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, brothers, uh, you have to be balanced. This race is not a not a 40-yard dash. It is a marathon. You're not in competition with each other. Mm. Like, I got to outdo him and outdo them. You got you to gotta learn yourself, man. You got to learn who you are. You gotta, you gotta person. You gotta really, you know, you take this truth seriously and you learn who you is, you know, and stop trying to be somebody else. Can't be no actor in this truth. Ain't none of us took a course to be a prophet. We didn't go to school and college, you know, to to become a prophet of the Lord. The Lord taught us. This is all done in the spirit. This is done, you know. <laughs> your training is when you out there at camp live, man, or when you, you know, doing your shows. Sometimes you make mistakes, hey, you fix it. It's okay. You know, it's, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say that I was going to say the saying. It's, the, it's not the end of the world, but it is the end of the world. So, <laughs> you know, but um, hey, that's all I got. I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, wanted to put that out there. I was just watching the elders video and, um, you know, it's the spirit, man. You know, got to be in, uh, in the spirit of the Lord, because if you're not, you out of there. You out of there And um, you got guys that think They think they still in the truth You just showing up to the camp to show your face You think that you in the truth But you're not You're not If the Lord is not in all your thoughts You are not in the truth Straight up You are not in this truth And you're going to lose faith You know And you basically spitting in the Lord's face Because you basically You want to be a You, you let man uh, uh, Please you man Well excuse me you for man and not for the Lord, man. You for the lovers of pleasures, you know? Because you need this, you need that, you know? So, hey, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect. Shalom.